let us understand the basics of MVC. Before proceeding on our study of MVC, let us try to understand how it is different from the traditional web programming technologies. We'll start it right now. This is the address bar. You type something here www.hoven.in by index.htm. In traditional programming, this address bar maps to a file on the server. When this command is sent to the server, it reaches that IP address and picks this file. It reads the contents of the file and transmits them to your browser which interprets the HTML and presents a picture picture to you some tables some grids some flash this is produced by interpreting the HTML that is coming from this file If it is an ASP.NET website, then the same thing written on the address bar again maps to a web page. It is a different thing that this page requires a processing and then it sends the HTML. But at the end of the day, this line maps to a file. It's a different thing that a plain HTM file comes without processing and this ASPX file comes after processing. Now in MVC, this story is very different. This is how it looks like. You are typing on the address bar a URL like this. If it had been plain ASP.NET then XYZ would have been some folder, PQR would have been some folder and inside it some default file might have been there. But in case of MVC, this URL contains the name of a class and the name of a public function inside it. It could be that XYZ is a ready made is a class inside your program and PQR is a function inside this class. There is no folder by the name XYZ there is no folder by the name PQR. The URL looks the same. People type it as usual. 
but it contains a hidden information about the name of a class and a function in that class. So what is the cycle that goes on? For the moment you assume that xyz is the name of the class and pqr is a public function. So if we draw a diagram it would look like this. Ret is the return type about which I am silent right now. ABC is the name of a function. XYZ is the class. What happens is this function will be called when the user types XYZ by ABC in the address bar. This function will be called and here you might query a database based on the parameters obtained from these arguments these arguments are also encoded in the address bar so to be a little more accurate the address bar contains the name of the class, the function and also the arguments for that function. Based on these arguments, a database query is done and suppose you get the results in certain variable. Variable x contains those results. So you are querying the database. Result is coming back to your function. Then this x is sent to a view, view page that contains the necessary HTML. This data merges with this HTML similar to you have in PHP and whatever is the end result the calculated HTML comes back to the action once again or this method then the combined HTML as a result of this database query and further processing of this HTML, the combined HTML is sent back to the client, to the user. In this whole story there is no file. The file is something internal to the MVC framework. It is not necessary that this database be there because this particular page might not be any, having anything to do with database access. This is not compulsory. Even this page may not be required if the HTML to be returned to the user happens to be simple then it could be just calculated here build a long string and without going to the view page you directly return the results to the caller
so in mvc this is not compulsory this is not compulsory but this one is compulsory this function it can do all the processing here or it can talk to the database do the processing here and then return back or it could talk to the database talk get the information from the page and return it back to the caller the central thing in case of mvc is not the file but it is the function function is the central unit of an mvc application all are slaves database view page so if if we write it in terminology of mvc database is similar to model the view file is similar to view and class its method they are called controller model is everything about data access view is everything about the html component and controller is something that works with model and view to return the html to the final caller the controller is the central player here model is not compulsory view is not compulsory in mvc your project starts with a controller how is it different from asp.net in asp.net your project starts with a file there you have a button then you generate an event handler in this handler database connectivity code is done and this page returns to the end user button double clicked gives you the c sharp code area and ultimately the, this file is sent directly to the caller but in case of mvc you are starting with a function there is nothing called a click event because you are starting with a function this function has nothing to do with click event it is simply the address coming from the address bar this function interprets the address bar and is supposed to send you the comp completed html you start with a function and make calls to the view view is added at the second stage first you have the function then you add the view as per requirement if it is required and you add the model if it is required but in case of asp.net you have the file you add the functions only if it is required if you don't want any click events to be handled you won't generate the functions 
but in case of mvc story is exactly the opposite you have the function and you do not have the view do not have the model if it is these are not required so in our course also we shall not bring these into picture initially nor shall we bring models into picture we shall simply be discussing this function how to operate properly with them we shall also be discussing how to generate code here how to generate the html here and send it directly back to the caller and see it on the screen as time will pass we shall bring this one into the picture first when you become comfortable with this then we will introduce this and finally model view and controller we'll see all of them interacting together with each other so i'll summarize central point is function views models required as per need no event handlers no page load no click these are not there so this is what mvc is all about so in our next lecture we shall be starting with the functions we shall not bring these into the picture not these we shall start to play with the function and start getting it connected with the address bar thanks